leg hip bridge, not only is it a posterior chain excellent movement, but it's also core stability. The reason being is when you go to a single leg movement, your hips need to be stable so they don't drop. In order to do that, you gotta brace your core as much as you can. What I mean by that, when you get in the hip bridge position, yes, we're working the posterior chain, feet out in front of the knees, squeeze your butt, squeeze your glutes, all the way one straight line from your knee to your shoulder. But when we relieve one foot from the ground, my hips wanna collapse. So I need to brace my core, squeeze my abs, put all the pressure in this right glute, creating that as much tension as I can, pushing my heels through the ground, one straight line from my right knee to my right shoulder as I dip down. Now notice my spine doesn't overextend on the way. Again, core dominance here. Create as much tension with your obliques as you can so we don't overextend on the way down. Brace your core, squeeze your glutes, keep your hips level to the ceiling.